What's up? What's up? We back with another edition of the best it's podcast right. you never heard of. <laughs> Damn. It was good to see you nobody. Episode 174. It is great. You already right, know. Come on. That shit is distracting. That wouldn't happen to no Anderson niggas. I'm just saying, yeah, that yeah, shit wouldn't happen with no Anderson niggas. This is episode 174. <laughs> Ain't even niggas in it. Hey, you already know who I am. Yes, it is. This is Latours, aka Heartbound Harrison, yeah. aka Dark Skin Thanos, aka Fan of Facts. Come on, Jason, get your laugh, man, because this is the Apex Predator. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to my nigga Juvie. He to my right, Renaissance yes, Southern motherfucking Juvie. How you feeling, champ? Man. I want to put some excellent body shots in the gym today. We saw. Hey, that nigga. No, that, that, that was a whole I know. I was talking shit, man. I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I enjoyed that video. He was cool and what? He's like, he's going to have to call my nigga too. Old content, you know, just, you know, shit just to keep motherfuckers, you know. Engaged. Yeah, That's just dope, though. Hey, you been working on the body attack, though? Yeah, yo, know, because I'm, you know, bro, bro, I really been breaking my knees down. I'm still like, I used to throw my hooks and my body shots like the thing you're standing up type shit. Yeah. So now I'm like squatting with the mugs and I'm throwing the body shots and I heard that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I heard that nigga. Uh, I was he's, like, making, yeah. he's making women fans like, yeah. Remember Mike Tyson yeah. described when he fought, oh, that was cold, that's his dream. Yes. You know, coaches, really really don't, trigger. coaches really don't be uh, giving you no compliments in the gym, but when they get hyped about some shit, you know you're doing something great. Right. Hell yeah. Nigga, play cool even shit. though even when you have a good days and you like, nigga, I'm, I'm doing shit nigga day, like nigga, do this. You feel me? Like, you know, some regular shit. No, baby. He's like, you're doing some good body shots, you know, like this. The champion oh, is here. The champion is here. To my left, we got the homie Jeremy, aka DJ Too Fat. How you feeling? I'm living the motherfucking dream. I just wanna let everybody know, motherfucking mouth of the Midwest. I'm good from the White House to the Trap House, everywhere in between from the motherfucking wolf on concrete. You know what I mean? Wolves can't be tamed. Ain't no wolves in the zoo. Ain't no wolves in the zoo, baby. I'll take credit for his newfound enthusiasm. Ever since we, because this all inspired us. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I know I'm an inspirational person. I motivate my friends. When we was in the gym and I was telling him I was an apex predator and he started smirking. A couple weeks later, he was saying he was a wolf. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. Am I bullshit? Come on, man. Don't no, no, no. He ain't bullshitting. But what it was, though, nigga was talking about, man. I'm up in the lion and shit. I'm like, man, you be seeing lions in the gym. My lions fan, get called and shit, man. My affinity from lions and shit, though, is because we from the tribe of Judah. And I, I am a Jewish. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, that's a, I'm just saying that's where my affinity come from. Uh, but shout out to Jeremy. What's this? You like a monkey, ain't you? Dang, 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 dang. We got you. I got them. Beat up a white lady or some shit for to fulfill your initiation. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go out there and punch a white lady <laughs> with new inhibitions. And you can't run. You gotta stand over there and gloat. You gotta gloat over there, bitch. Say, ah, damn, bitch, did it hurt? You gotta confirm that it hurt. <laughs> but shout out to Jeremy. To, it, to my immediate left. Man, listen. Oh, man, hold on. Man, you gotta start sending me this shit. Cause I don't know what you're doing with this footage. He's gonna save it so he can do the last dance. <laughs> He's gonna do the last dance documentary 20 years later. Yeah, really, uh, yeah, we're gonna chop them motherfuckers up. That'd be great. Hell yeah, yeah. To my left. Without. That's <laughs> your boy, Jason Richie, aka Go Jason on aka Simmy. Simmy Send me the cash on Bimbo and Cash App if you got it. the Latino people, a.k.a. nigga come to these shows this week. To what? The turn up is real. Like, that's a lot. Hey, like, right? <laughs> the, yeah, Friday. Friday. Yeah, two ain't shit. Niggas be doing like eight in the weekend, ten in the weekend. Man, don't no damn play your part. Hey, we, hey, we doing something though. Oh, before COVID oh, close oh, shit up. Oh, oh, quality. Hey, y'all better come out before these niggas say, y'all better stay in the house. Cool. Y'all on punishment. Oh, Even with your man. vaccine. Look though, with that said, I'm gonna tell you, they were saying on uh, the ass, you know, he don't ever know if he here or there. And uh, Joe Biden, they asked him, was it a potential, was it the possibility of everybody going back inside? And he said, no. Of course, he, you know, you can't believe shit he said, but I'm gonna grab my joke. What, what stand out for me about that though? Cause we do forget that at least 
70 people have been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So it would, and I hate to use this term, but Manny it and Juvie. It, it, who? Manny and Juvie. <laughs> Vax that thing up. Mm -hmm. I thought you were talking about real juvie. Nah, nah, juvenile. I would never uh, put that on juvie. Uh, <laughs> it would be unfair for those who did get vaccinated to have to go sit in the house because of us. They're going to start it. They're going to ride. That's the civil war. You think that's what like, they're trying to invoke that? This is civil war. Because it is they got that city where they feel like they're trying to, you know what I'm saying, divide based on that shit. And it's weird to me because we ain't got to get into it because it's going to be something that's ongoing. But people who don't even care about shit care about this. And it's all like, it's weird. Like, like you haven't studied nothing, but you are an expert in telling somebody you should get vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? And you don't hear people who not vaccinated telling people you shouldn't get vaccinated. It's basically, I'm not getting vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? Not on a personal level, you might tell somebody you care about don't get vaccinated. But just on some going outside saying, get vaccinated. You don't see that shit, but it's all weird to me. And, and I'm, I'm, I always say there's going to be some crypto vaxxers, meaning people who get vaccinated but going to deny that they got vaccinated. Sure. Because they're going to want to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they don't, they want to be cool. Yeah. But I, I, knew the, I, knew the, I knew the hood was dead then. I mean, uh, Jeremy's dude, Boosie, was out there telling people to get vaccinated. I knew the hood died. I said, poor Louisiana. You think they'll get to a point where they try to keep people out of everything if they don't get vaccinated? Oh, they back there. They are already doing that, man. And it's on, and they, it's already back affecting my shit. Like, you, yeah. can't, you can't, like, get a job or what? Like, comedy. You can't get in yeah. certain places and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you, you can't get no vaccine no venues. Or vaccinated or only shows. And shit in New York. So that was the first thing to mandate. What would y'all do? For proof what of vaccination, sure. What y'all gonna do? Like, oh, I think they want to so stay in the house. I ain't going nowhere. I don't have to. Like, I don't have to be entertained outside. Like, the only place I have to go is the gym. That's the only place I have to go. I'm just going to decide. What about work? You think about you getting it? I don't know. I'm going to decide, man. I don't know. I'm going to decide. 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 i am like it's not, they can't always sell drugs. There's no gun that they can hold to my head to make me do shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not galvanizing. I'm just saying, like, yeah. just, I see where, you know, shit just, you know, they, they push shit to a certain extent. You know, shit, they can do Walmart doing that shit. Yeah, so. Walmart is. Yeah, you can imagine. You can imagine. Man, that's not a fake car. Hey, don't tell yourself on here. I mean, just keep that shit low. I got a nigga that do nothing to shit. Yeah, you say you consider getting the vax. I brought it up here on the side, nigga. I took a vaccine. What the hell, killer? Why you mad at me? I took a vaccine. You guys high school, nigga? What that mean? I'm just saying, like, vaccines been up. They have been around. They bribe. I don't like them. They bribe them. Yeah. Everybody's bribing. We're trying to get fucking F and P E and shit. Get a D minus, you stupid motherfucker, you unathletic. Look, damn, that's crazy. That was off the air. We gotta hear about that. Yeah. Well, but, but, but I hate how people justify shit like I'm doing it now because I did it then. In high school, I'm sure you didn't have the resources to study that you have today, or the uh, wherewithal to understand like how it's a it's, it's fucked up when. In the history of life, you've never seen them offering million dollar lotteries and shit to get you take a fucking shot. That there should be that one. Okay, but what you have seen in life though is, and I look at everything from just a nigga trying to get paid, because that's my life be revolving around dollars and getting to them. So what I say is, if they offering people in the working force to get the shit, I just say, what if every working person died? Elitists ain't trying to be doing these motherfucking jobs. Elitists ain't trying to go out here and do this fucking grunt labor right, that, that people be motherfucking doing. Understand. So if they trying to keep people like myself and other motherfucking just, just grunts alive, I'm like, it might be something to this then. You, you think the whole objective is to keep you alive? I'm just saying, yeah, I, no, no, no. That, that is the way I feel. Okay, so those like, are facts. So I'm saying like, do you, like, that's your thing, you think that they are trying yeah, to save that, 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 that. No, do I think they're trying to save my life? I Hold think they're trying to saying. keep people alive. What's the difference between trying to keep my life what, and save my okay, life? Okay, yeah. That's okay, so you think they're trying to save your life? Yeah, okay. possibly. Okay, possibly. Now, I want the possibilities. If you consider taking this vaccination, what is your reason for taking it? 
Are you? Do you feel like your life is on the line if you don't take it? No, nah, my life. I'm, yes and no, because I had COVID. And did you die? No, nah, but okay. no. Okay, okay, so so me, my kids, mama, and a bunch of my kids had it. And was I seen. Was it as sick as you ever been in your life? Huh? Was it as sick as you? Yes ever? and no. I, come on, man, it's a fucking yes or no. Yes okay, or no. okay, you know what? Yeah, you know what? It, it was some of the worst shit I ever felt because I couldn't even get out the fucking bed. They prescribed me muscle relaxants. So you never had Hell no. Nah. Relax on your cold. <laughs> muscle relaxed. Relax. Like, no, no, like I couldn't move. I couldn't even fucking move. Yeah, I was so like, the muscle relaxed further. Than, uh, I didn't even take them because I don't like drugs like but, that. But this, what the fuck is a vaccine? Okay, hold on. <laughs> look, look. I don't like pills. I, mean, I don't like pills. Like I don't like pills. Like 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 but the point is, all this, I don't need no explanation. Um, and no disrespect you, it's your body, your choice. <laughs> you can yeah, do what you want to do. I mean, just me personally and shit, I'm not the person to be scared into doing something, nor do I feel like a government who puts all sorts of additives and foods and shit to cause cancer or different other different diseases in my foods and shit to further uh, enrich the uh, pharmaceutical industry. At no point will I ever feel like the government is trying to save my fucking life with a mandatory vaccine. Uh, especially with a a disease that's on paper with the CDC for having less than a 2% mortality rate. You see what I'm saying? It's not even fatal as they present it to be, but when you govern by fear, I'm not talking to you specifically, but when you govern by fear, it's easy to galvanize somebody into falling for that shit. And if you don't like see different, like any games for the reason they're doing it, whether it could be population control, whether it could be to save lives, whether it could be to alter your DNA. If you just look at it without objections and shit, it's easy to just come to. But whatever people do and shit, um, it's up to them. But I know that I'm definitely not taking it. Uh, and nobody who I have an influence on in their life will be taking it. That's just, you know what I'm saying? Those are the only zombies. And that's that on that. <laughs> but tonight, though, man, uh, I want to smoke. Huh? I still might take it. Though. You see, cool. you see that's how cool. you see how defiant that shit is. Like he just had it was itching yeah. to get out of his shit. <laughs> like he just had to he say some shit. Yeah, he had. No, he said I won't be a zombie and shit, man. If everybody dropped dead, I'm be like, hey, this a bitch. Warm, no, they don't. They, they don't scare you. Gonna be what? What don't scare me? What? It don't scare you that people dying from getting the vaccine. People die from COVID. No, no, I know no, like four no, people that die. You don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Nick, no, name. Uh, my mama's friend. Right. I need it's names. a guy. I need names. Javon used yeah. to take his grass I and shit. I need names. I need names. I forgot this old nigga name. Yeah. Jerome. 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 Every black man gorgeous. Uh, two niggas in the trade. What's the name? Uh, oh, fuck. I forgot, man. This motherfucker niggas in the trade and shit. How do you know they died from COVID? You don't hold on. You don't. Okay, so do I honestly know that I read the medical report? No, but okay, that's what we're reporting. Okay, okay, okay. And four out of how many people do you know? Should have said allegedly. How many people do you know on Earth? <laughs> how many people do you know? And in four, what's the percentage of people who died of COVID? It's it's real cut and dry, and it's nothing that's so COVID ain't real. It's real, but it's just yeah, a yeah. virus. We are. I mean, we can't. Yeah. I had to shit. It's like the cold, man. I'm it's a strange look, man. I had the flu. It's like the flu yeah, or pneumonia. It could be the floor of the Guys, I hate to inform you, but we're not the CDC or medical experts or the people who invented this shit. <laughs> you didn't invent this shit. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> On my last trip to Wuhan. <laughs> Don't you do this shit, Ricky Bob. <laughs> Steer this shit back on course, nigga. Hey, I'm so glad you did that. Tonight, there is a versus. It's a versus. It's the night? I fucking missed the fight too. Michael Hunter fighting. Shout out to Michael Hunter anyway. Damn, I be forgetting he's fighting. Uh, he on his own, right? First off, disrespect any nigga fighting on a Tuesday. It's been in the 90s on Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah, the USA. Right. I'm about to say USA. 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 Yeah, I don't even think that's the one I'm gonna catch battle. First off, you don't know that the locks used to be called the warlocks. Uh, no. Yeah. And you said you don't think it's a good battle. Mm -mm. Why do you say that? Yeah, it's like the locks ain't the locks got a couple of cool ass features, but I used to DJ and the locks ain't got them joints. Dipset can legitimately play 20 good songs. 
because they had a million bands. Yeah, twenty. Yes. And and not like yeah. straight straight dips uh, and songs, but features with them because they play feature songs too though. Definitely. So when you say and I'm I'm not the shooting that, but twenty songs is heavy. Yes. And so hey. and, and it's headlined by uh, of course Cameron, Jim Jones, and Joe Um Nigga, Allen Iverson shot a lot of shots, bro. That See the locks. I don't. Like, you know, what what are we saying here? See, that them niggas made a billion fucking songs and mixtapes. Yeah. And twenty and Jay already had a one. So he really <laughs> can't go back and play all them songs again. Styles please. I mean Styles can play like I'm high. They got a few mixtape joints. He still can't get the fuck he can, boy. Why can't he? I mean, cause hey, hey, if they start playing solo joints, then Dipset can play a legitimate 50 fucking songs. No, you just upped it to 50, nigga. 20 was right. No, I'm saying Dipset. <laughs> Dipset can play 20, but if they start doing, doing like just feature joints, feature. Let's like just, let's just, let's just, let's just throw out some. Let's shit. just throw out some other Dipset song. I'm not disputing at all because just sit here. It's going to be hard to talk that ball. Yeah, like the lot ain't got off, a song. That's off Jim Jones. Huh? It's gonna be hard. To, uh, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be hard to talk that old boy. Hey, mom. Yeah. Dipset anthem. What's that? How they go? Dipset. Dipset. Dip yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> suck it or not by Cameron. That really didn't take off. Yeah, that's, 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 that's like 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 that's that, uh, Jay gets on that ball. And then fucking Jewel and Chris Brown. Jump on the pause in real quick just to stop. The way. Ben from TV is one of the best posse songs ever. Yes. Wah, 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 wah. That track was hard in the bitch. But go ahead. What else we got? We got Jewel. We oh, got more. Hold on, I'm not saying Jewel is like you got more than three songs. Who, who Jewel? It's only a few songs. Oh, man, Jewel got a whole mixtape. Well, I'm sure he had a whole mixtape. That's if you really like Jewel. That's if you like, like off beat. But, yeah. but <laughs> it's all the first. This ain't like, like a shock. This ain't no popularity <laughs> shit. This is going to be people who know their music. Like, oh, shit. No, no, this, oh, is, no, this, is, no, this is popularity. Can I say Jewel. Because if we're going to buy quality music, it's locked by a lot. It's locked by a billion, man. Hey, look. What you say about Jewel? Yeah, Jewel, she got he got a handful of slaps. I'm gonna keep it real. No all he ever said was Santana Bandana. <laughs> we didn't That's say he was the most lyrical person. So, but if we okay, <laughs> on that, girl. if we yeah, <laughs> if we just go by the like the popularity, uh, they said it was like super swagged out. Yeah, they had, they had, they had, had the culture though. Did, to, to what? Yeah. They had one of the best ways in hip hop history. Yeah, yeah, they, easily, they easily, easily, the easily top, top three. three. Top three. Yeah. Five. Top of your five uh, crews. Same way, man. Some people say he had niggas in fatigues. Dipset had people he can't change say, on their belts. You can't say that because niggas was always wearing fatigues. That was some New York shit. I don't know about, about y'all. New York niggas was wearing fatigues. They're motherfucking fatigue. Anderson, but in Chicago. I'm just saying New York. When he came through, it, it just became a basketball then. Well, maybe y'all got it, lady. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? P changed it for urban black people. Urban? What is an urban black person? In like major cities, What's like urban talking, talking about like pink fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> not blending this shit. What's the urban black person though? <laughs> Motherfucking like if you live in like a a big market of Detroit, so Chicago. I if I just say it started in New York, how does that? I'm an urban dude. Yeah, but <laughs> but but <laughs> New York, York didn't push the culture in Chicago though, because Biggie wasn't popping like that when Pop was I didn't even see. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't see Master P running around a lot of fatigue. What? I didn't see him run. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, he had a lot of army shit on. Yeah, he was always in that he definitely, shit. He definitely uh, did. Yeah, like yeah, really if you go in, if you pull up no limit videos and shit, you will not see a bunch of fatigues and shit. If you pull up 1990, you go to the album cover, he had to try to be in a Versace suit type shit. You go yeah. back to look at this shit. Maybe they all in the fatigues. The vibe cover, they was in the fatigues. Uh, you know what? You know what? After mm-hmm. he did have, like, I mean, I don't think he wore them shit so much. After the, the fucking make him say, uh, shit, that shit, he was not wearing that shit. Really. Yeah, but if, Jer- yeah. if Jeremy was influenced by her, though, I'm not. I don't know. No, a lot of people was, for some reason was wearing that. Shit. Yeah. My sister was wearing that. Shit. But I know, like a lot of people was doing that. She had their uh, like two bottles. You know what I'm saying? Two bottles was doing it. I mean, that was a New York thing. Yeah. I'll just tell you right there. If you just type in masterpiece, yeah. you, I mean, I'm I'm be honest with you. I, you I really wasn't paying attention, so everything I'm saying is presumptuous. But 
far as the way Dipset had an incredible fucking way. I didn't get into it because I was never one of them forward pink ass niggas. I was not gonna put on no pink shit. I just couldn't do it. No, I listened to the music. Pretty heavy, but I was never, I never, I never committed to that. Was because he was real influenced to my part of fashion. That's fine. Uh, just like, I was just fucking with him, man. He got jewels. I did used to wear bandanas because Joel Santana. We did the spot. Bandana. We did it. That was the spot, but I didn't. I didn't get no hearing in my nose. Yeah, I don't think the locks ever had a way where they like push the culture forward. But they, but if you want to talk about like, like this, they, they, was, they was quality. They was <laughs> quality of a quantity. Pat Poole's all in the school all the time. Hey, it's like, it's like a lot of mental fortitude to sit there and listen to Pat Poole's all the time. <laughs> hey, it's a lot of self torture. That's like Jack Harper's sandpaper, nigga. You like, what? It's <laughs> the first version of Silk Shocker and shit. No, nah. Hell no. There's no version of Silk Shocker outside the Silk Shocker. He can't find a beat. But he can't find a beat. That was correct. But he can't find a beat, though, man. He could. Still can't do that. Papoose. Papoose, Silk Shocker. You know what I'm saying? Silk Shocker. 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 I, but uh, still, first album was kind of hard. That shit was terrible. Go back and listen to it. Go back and listen to it. Look, y'all. Before you get the vaccine, go to get the vaccine. Everything gonna sound good. But let's do it before you get your vaccine. Nigga, I still play at a cat a shocker. You listen to that shit now? That's a shocker. You listen to that shit now? I was a big fan of P, man. Like I was too, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm talking about good P, like 99, like oh, 99 oh, ways to die. The ghetto you talking about that ghetto D? This is fuck ghetto D, nigga. You niggas are so old. It was his album. <laughs> yeah, you so get your mind. But let's go, bad boys, motherfucking downside. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's be honest. Uh, at the time, at the time, the shit was cool. But and, and that's the thing. when you go back and listen to that shit, and that, I'm tell you, I'm not even being funny, man. I'll sit down and try to listen to some of that, even mystical shit. That, that shit is terrible. Really like mystical fan. All that shit is terrible. Even I'm gonna tell. I hate to say this because my favorite was Mac. On the shit. That album still yeah, hard. Yeah. This shit just don't sound as good. No it, limit black shit. Play like the back seat for months. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I understand, but my thing is, it might be me. You know what I'm saying? Like it could st- just because I don't. If, if I don't, just because I don't like it like I did, and shit don't mean it ain't good. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, I just can't. It don't. And it, I'm older, so it don't move me the same. But I can't attribute it just to time though, because I can still listen to some fucking Ice Cube. I, I played Break Them Off something this morning. It's still here. Huh? So I played Break Them Off something this morning. But you, yeah. you were un, you were an unlikely nigga. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I just, who wins though? Hold on, let me get to my verses and shit. Back to my locks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who wins? The quality, yeah. just as far as the quality though. The lyrics, the uh, song structures, the um, if I had to go onto a a, a a stranded island and take one catalog, I'm taking Locks catalog. That's why you want that stranded island. Taking that shark. That's why you want that. That's why you want that island. If I if I can find one to float on at home, I will take that bullshit. I, I don't know, man. Like frisbee. Besides uh, me, I don't know a person you talking about the album. Wait, to win the verses or to go to the album? Uh, I'm, I'm first, different. Versus, I got lots. You got lots. But I mean, it's not gonna be entertaining. Versus, I got, I got a Dipset. Just on the cut. I mean, well, I think we'll win. Who I would pick? Who's I would Dipset? pick Locks. Who's Dipset? It's just Jim Jones. No, I'm like, who's in this verse? Uh, yeah. Anybody subject? Cause it's, it's about forty. Then. That's yeah, why I was like, like, it's only gonna be it ain't gonna be the quality. And, uh, Cam, no, that's okay. Right. No Spider, no motherfucking Hell Rail. So okay. them three. Oh, so it do get a little bit interesting. I mean, so this is a toss up. Cause if we just throw up uh, their songs, uh, it's your best. Like it's a lock song. My favorite lock song. Man, I like the lock, so you can go. Uh, <laughs> you throw all the Benjamins on that motherfucker. No, 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 no. What's your favorite lock song? Not a feature. Big lock song. Man, you should at least say the one where they was. No, I said all about my favorite. Oh, now, if you want to say your favorite, we can go with that. Just <laughs> say the first thing you say that, but I can see what you said. Have you ever heard that shit? That's on the first album? That shit hard to the motherfucker. Man, the only song I still remember off that first album is the one where Jay would be like, I'm too black for BET, not black, no, too black for MTV, not black enough for BET. 
The song where they diss Puffy and Riley That wasn't on the first one, that's on the second one. That's New York Streets. I like The first one had that if you think of T. Oh, shit, that will. That was them. Yeah. Yeah, oh, man. That was them. That's that shiny That was their song? Yeah. I didn't know that was their song. Yeah, yeah, you can put on that 24 hours of live. That's what I was about to say. That's my song. That's my song. I'm not locked on this May song. No, but in the fucking verses, we can use other songs. Don't say, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, well, man, that's the case. You can't rock with him with the Jay Z t shirt. And that's they true. got a lot. That's a hard one. No, Kevin, I mean, you, can, you can do Money Can't Do it was a remix. Man. You can do Bad from T. I mean, you can do the Reservoir Dogs off of the Jay Z uh, Hard Dog. You, you ain't even here. Dip you ain't gonna go crazy on camera with this shit right here. Man, Kevin, I'm not even happy. When's the verse? Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know what? They not better than the locks at all. Lyrically, lyrically, the locks no wins. But no, I'm if I'm going to the island, nigga, I'm gonna take catalog because I'm di- I'm different. I'm gonna take dipset because I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. I'm gonna laugh the whole time I'm on the island by myself. Yeah. <laughs> who, who wins? Dipset, easy. The verses. I got dipset and the verses. And that's just me sitting here, bro. If if they sit up here and just run, I mean, man, you go song for song. I don't know because they gonna go with that Jay Jay that gets wild. That uh, we gonna make it. Why? That, uh, what's that one shit that? Uh, he got too many solo shit. What's shit. that? Fuck the frill shit. Uh, we gonna make it. We gonna what's make that it, shit working like? What's my what shit? What she say about getting freaky and start popping yourself? Mm-hmm. What's that? Yeah. Kids, kids, miss the educator like Lauren Hughes. Yeah. Yeah. What's that shit? But no, no, I, I mean, yeah, hits on Rough Riders shit. Tensely, I go with Dipset. Sticking with hip hop, uh, what are y'all thoughts about the baby? And we ain't gotta stay on it. We know he, uh, we know he, uh, got, to, got into a fracas. Shit, ain't gonna freeze that nigga bank account. We gotta do, we gotta do. I like his character. Cows. You said what? I like his character. And what do you mean? Like, what do you mean, like? Like, because he be saying shit, he. Stand on the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, I mean, I don't think he apologized. What he did on Instagram, his words and said, that's like his it's a management of somebody. That's why it's on Instagram. That nigga ain't verbally said it. It's a representation. Yeah, it's a rep. Like saying. So I mean, so he he authorized it. So he he uh, he apologized. Because you got you you can't fuck up the bag though too much. Hold on, it's hold on, hold on. Because you say he like his character. So you like someone who be seeing their uh, previous statements who governed by money, not integrity. Is that what you? Hey, it's, not integrity. it's about saying you no. Know it what? is about integrity. When you know, when you go against what you originally said based on somebody's ability to control your fucking money, that's the same. It's also it's about true. being able to feed your family the right way. So yeah, you, I'm pretty sure you made enough money. So. What's enough money? What's enough? I mean, enough. Time. I ain't never heard a nigga say enough mm-hmm. money. It was I mean, a, I, niggas, I mean, It's a self fulfilling prophecy. You got you gotta like get to a point where like you ain't compromising yourself over cheese. You know what I mean? Man, like see, that's the difference. Like it's cool to be rich, but niggas gotta get wealthy. Like generational What's wealth, man. Rich and well. Generational outside wealth. Outside of a rapper scene. To, you, to, you, to where like you yo, to, 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 to your kids and great grandkids ain't gotta work. I mean, for niggas. So they just niggas, set up like yo, they they on the track of success. You don't. I would hope making money like that, they would have. Investments. Right. I know you had some shit coming in. Like everybody, 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 like, everybody knew this nigga had five minutes or fifteen minutes of fame, and that shit has ran its course. We didn't know how it was gonna end, Man, but he finna keep working. But his all this shit from them, like, like, totally like totally niggas spending money on bullshit because of what they, how what they make us feel like we might need or want. You feel me? And if you really wanna like. Like, bro, if you had a million dollars, your whole family would be cool if you did it the right way. If, but if you what's your whole family? family don't like you, your wife, your kids? My want trips, my want to go on ski trips, my want to wear, wear polo, my want to the new shoes. Then, okay, yeah, you probably don't want the $10 million, $100 million. That's what y'all doing. But if you just live your regular ass life, y'all gonna be comfortable. Like, what about Jay-Z, though, man? Oh, for real, who you consider rich and who you consider wealthy? So I can ask you the biggest question. Who's rich? Rich. Who's rich? Um, I look at rich like a nigga with like a couple of million dollars. Okay, just give me a. Cause anybody, anybody got a couple million dollars? A couple million. Yeah, a couple million. You know how you gotta be to sneeze a couple million dollars. Ain't nothing thousand ain't. So crazy. if you could do, if you had a couple million dollars and shit, like what could a, a wealthy person do that you can't do? They set up your entire family, your entire circle. And you don't believe in your hustle that you can do that. You think you can do that with a couple million? 
A couple of million, man. A couple of million don't last like yeah, it used a couple to. Hundred so, so like it used to, nigga. Why you ran a two million that didn't last? Man, it's, it's, it's just the price of shit, man. Like education, like you want to send your kids to a great ass so Ivy League school. You got $2 million dollars and shit, you shouldn't be trying to send your child to school. That's, that's Why, the Why would thing? you send your child to school? What's the purpose of school? Oh, you don't even got to do that. Hold on, what's the purpose of school in your opinion? The purpose of school, I mean, school is a, a great place to like build like certain relationships, yada, yada, yada. You can build relationships on uh Okay, Instagram. you know what? I'll tell you the perfect fucking thing. You can example. build relationships on Instagram. Doing business. Yes and no. Doing no, business. no, how the fuck can't you just say yes? Okay, or you know no. what? You probably could. You don't want to be wrong for shit. You it's probably so good, but you know what you can't do? Doing the business. motherfucker who who invented Napster, right? That motherfucker did that shit at IU. When he made it, he took care of most of his whole dorm. Everybody he was cool with, like nigga, we made it. Somebody cool why with him. Why are you thinking about a word of mentality though? What where, where did Mark Zuckerberg graduate from? He didn't graduate. Okay. What you say? I said if I have a truck with a motherfucking lawnmower. And it's me and my other homie. I might just be me. You don't think I'm gonna be talking to a lot of people doing my lawn care business? You don't think I'm gonna be like physically talking to motherfuckers or like meeting different people doing like. Okay, writing? you can talk to them. Hey, bro, I say that I got this truck. You can be I'm trying to show people, like, but it's, it's different than saying, I'm gonna put is. you in a position. I'm, I'm gonna set you up about, to win. I'm talking about, we were talking about the school. You said meeting people like me. Yeah. School, you be interacting. Yeah, work. You can do the same work. thing outside of that. It's just all about running into people. That's all that is. You feel me? It's like you, you can network media. anywhere, they but shit, like Mr. Zuckerberg, he Ooh. not in school. Zuckerberg, yeah. he's not in school. He don't have a chance to steal Facebook. The mystery General Zuckerberg. <laughs> I mean, shit, man. Money, 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 money. Lord Zuckerberg, <laughs> your highness. <laughs> man, money, it just, it just helped, man. It, this it, the it money, 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 money. I always go back to the old, my old self. Uh, established adage. I love money as much as I need it. Yeah. I need enough money to pay my rent, uh, pay my bills, and then if I got somebody who I care about, if they need the money, that I can always see them. That's how much money tool. I need. It's, it's a tool. It's a, that's all it is. Yeah. And, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't be controlled. Hold on real quick. You shouldn't be controlled by something that can disappear. There's something that can be taken away from you. Anybody who feeds you can start. Yeah. So, just what you go ahead. Cause I want to get to a different point. Now I don't want you to forget what you're gonna say. Uh, you know, I'm about to say some shit like, uh, no, like it's really not gonna change how you feel. It shouldn't change how you feel, like today or like tomorrow. Like tomorrow, yeah, you going, oh yeah, maybe I got a million dollars, but you should ultimately you should still feel the same. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, money don't change you. It just amplifies uh, who you truly is. But if you got a million, the way I look at it, if I had a million, how can I flip this million to like? Get like an extra fifty thousand off this. Get an extra hundred thousand. What can I do to keep flipping this? And then when you I flip it enough, you don't need to pay the college tuition with fuck that money up. I wanna, I wanna make sure that my kids can see shit that I didn't get a chance. You don't, to see. you don't think that you can educate yourself better than college kids? Better educate your children better than college kids? Yeah, but I want my kids to have better life experiences. Oh, That's what, different. What, are you talking about frivolous things like what's a, a party on a campus? No, like the the opportunity to be around a different grade of people, yeah, than, better than you. No, not better than me, a different grade. What's a different people? grade of people? People are people. people, 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 people are people, so yes. what are the different people? What's what's different? Money. Money is in your mind, so it's, it's affluence and shit. Like, it's somebody who has more money than you and shit. That's who you want your children to be around. Because you mentioned Ivy League schools, which had a perception shit that these are the upper echelon or the uh, quote unquote elite that we mentioned earlier when you said about. They want to save your life. So, yeah, man, you want to be walking around this thing. He's really, yeah. he's really, he's really, he's really, he's really, he's really, he's really, but, but, you lame. You think, uh, that, like, all schools are the same, though? I think they all have the same, though. But I'm just saying, like, sure. like, a school in an affluent area, you think that school is teaching the same shit as a school this at the bottom of the map? They have, I mean, a curriculum is a curriculum, no matter what. Really. And, and the thing is, what are we feeding the children into? You know what I'm saying? What are we creating? What is the what is the goal of education in America? Is it to increase intelligence or is it to increase indoctrination? You see what I'm saying? Are you do you want to indoctrinate these people so they get online and say shit like I have a degree, I'm educated, I'm to create a false sense of fucking value. Yeah. And that's all that's all you, you, you just want to experience something. The experience, the opportunity. I just want my kids to have a better life. Because it really ain't no it opportunity. When you say better life, you know, do you think you have to have an education or an indoctrination to have a better life? Because, I mean, there's so many people, especially in this day and age where 
we see how uh, NF universities can be, how people come out, don't get jobs, they come out with a missed student loans. Well, we see most people who are entrepreneurs did without college. Everybody go to college, go for a business <laughs> management degree. Yeah, and you like and don't get out of shit, shit. But just back to uh, subject real quick, I really disrespect the baby. Not that it matters. He's concerned about how I feel and think. But I think he just revealed himself to who he is, and he's a sucker. He's a, to me, he's a bitch-ass nigga. And the reason why I say that is because he can go through every fucking song where he's killing and beating up niggas. He on video beat niggas up at the mall. He's not apologizing to these niggas. But as soon as these fags have an issue, so when it comes to money, it shows what, what, what governs you, what, what controls you, where your contrition is. You don't give a fuck about destroying your own community, but you give a fuck about offending a gay community. So I will never look at you like you speak your mind, you a real ass nigga. I feel like you just a sellout. You a fucking coon and Uncle Tom far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, we we got a confusing shit where somebody's super hard thugged out and shit, that that's the hero. But we don't consider how detrimental they are. And it, it just, it's magnifying this situation to where he shows no he i'll beat up a nigga like that's all he said i'll beat up a nigga i'll fuck a nigga's bitch that's all he said <laughs> what i think about it is it's like this like if black people had a said a while back like hey bro we tired of niggas rapping about the same thing and 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 that yeah, shit ain't gonna get it. played in the club we tired of calling like women bitches and hoes that shit ain't gonna get played if people took a stance the way gay people took a stance Niggas will have to change that shit up. If that shit fucked up the bag. What do niggas control? What do niggas control? Because niggas don't even control uh, hip hop or Hollywood or wherever these so called entertainers are bred and force fed down the folks of teenagers who they are um, sent to lead or mislead. And the, and the reason what, what, what I would really dislike about the baby apology is that. It's a lot of young people look up to him. So now they say, well, if he's saying nothing wrong with the gay people, there's nothing wrong with the gay people. Y'all don't understand how this is, like how this could be the Hegelian dialect where they create the problem and the solution. So where they have him do what he do, then want him to fucking recant and show contrition and basically bend the knee. So now it calls a fucking stir or a fucking, you know what I'm saying, confusing in the children's mind because they growing up in households that's fractured where you don't even get the same opposition to this particular lifestyle or death style that is permeating through the world right now. So when the parents not even having a strong uh, enough influence on it, and then you get these entertainers that these children look up to, then Nas, little Nas X is being highlighted, then Kanye the Conway Machine is wearing skirts. It's like, it's a, it's a barrage. You see what I'm saying? So when you get a, a so-called street nigga, like the baby, Bound down to these homosexuals. What 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 message do it send to the youth? You gotta remember, little baby, little, uh, whatever the fuck baby this is, the baby <laughs> was the first one of the first niggas that did a feature with Lil Nas X. Who was the baby? And like, and we and we get the we get the mainstream. Yeah, we get the. And that's what the. That was the out. second song he made. And like, we get the, the what they put out in the media. I don't know what the baby does. I mean, this ain't some shit. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, straight up. And I wonder what it, what transpired to, uh, you know, anyway. Next. I don't know if this is all a ploy. Because I feel like the world is a stage. You see what I'm saying? I can see that. We see where he allegedly lost these, this money and shit. And I don't know if y'all know what a shame ritual is. Are y'all familiar with that? This could be that. You know what I'm saying? This could be where he sit back. He, I got mental health issues. I ain't gonna talk to my therapist. I'm gonna uh, come back stronger. You see what I'm saying? Like, it all could be a setup, man, but we forget sometimes, man, that it, it's a certain need you gotta be in this shit to get to become a certain level of superstar or star in any in industry. I'm not the person to say everybody gay who gets success, and it's definitely not me, but you do have to compromise a lot of your integrity and shit or your morals to do it. So, I mean, I disrespect what the fuck you're doing, but. I'm not from this generation and shit to where he, he affects my life. It's just disheartening and shit because niggas is getting emasculated all over. See, I think that's he wouldn't have to do that shit if he would, if you don't accept that corporate cash. And that's, you get that shit out the mud, you never got to bow down a cow toe. To you, we like want GK. And he's going to be the same level. Until, until, yeah. until, 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 if you don't take the corporate dollars, yeah. you don't <laughs> take the corporate dollars, man, you can say whatever. Yeah, but you but want. that's the Jewish point, though. When he said he got enough money, 
And what and he's not saying like enough money, like he don't need no more, but he has enough money to strike out on his own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to like, where you can go for that cancel culture, that's white people shit. They they filter that shit down to niggas, so niggas feel like that they part of that bullshit because niggas always want to be ingratiated with white society. You know who can't be Hold on real quick. If you just hit these clubs, these hood clubs, they still gonna fuck with the yeah. band. So that's how come that's when you say you got enough. Where I can say, well, fuck your festival. I can hit these clubs and shit. I'm not gonna report this shit. If y'all catch me, y'all catch me. You see what I'm saying? So that's what enough money is to where you have the resources. Another point is the person like Stephen A. Smith and he has been in that fucking cotton field for 30 years. Why have you just struck out on your own and did some uh? What's the boy name who be fucking with the Celtics all the time? He loved the Celtics. Ben Simmons, Bill Simmons. Like oh, yeah. He did his own independent podcast. Then got that bag from Spotify. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to depend on the network. Just like the baby, it's like signing a record deal. Why the fuck are you signing record deals today? If these people already like you, why the fuck are you going to be deep signing with these people? You know what I'm saying? You already did what you got to do. Yeah, over. You, you know who can't be canceled? Okay. NBA young boy. Can't be canceled. He can be canceled, hey. but it's not even. It's, it's, and I don't understand your affinity for him. He can be murdered. Well, yeah. He can't be canceled. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, like, he can't be canceled. Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, we can't talk about NBA young boy, guys. There's other shit we got to talk about that's more important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah NBA yeah. young boy. Yeah, go, go, go. getting shot the fuck up over dumb shit. Speaking of, Clayton County, Georgia. Man, that shit was crazy. Officers arrived at the scene and found a woman sitting in her car screaming hysterically for help. It was just 4 a.m. on July the 29th as officers got close to to see blood everywhere and knew she needed immediate help. A a police spokesperson told CBS 46 in a statement she was bleeding profusely from four bullet bullet holes in her left arm. Officers, hold on, man, because this is my first time reading an article. Like, I wonder, like, how big was the arm you shot four times? <laughs> like, I see it, Jordan, man. Yeah. She's probably a big gal, man. A police right. spokesperson, yeah. Officers but, training kicked in, hold on, kicked in high, into high gear, and they asked him to save the woman's life. Police quickly reacted and applied a tourniquet to her arm to stop the bleeding. MacGyver, I mean, once officers stabilized the victim's arm, the investigation began. Who would want to shoot her four times? Why did the person shoot her? This is starting to read like a novel. <laughs> once officers and investigators calmed the woman down and stopped the bleeding, she was able to answer the detective's questions. After the shooting, nigga, after the shooting, they say she picked up her child and ran from their home. That's what it does. I'm confused. That's... The blood ain't shooting her in the way. With the other arm? Yeah, How old is this baby? <laughs> Hold on, the woman told the police she got in an argument with her 29 year old boyfriend. Uh, detectives probe further. What type of argument? What the fuck? What prompted her boyfriend to shoot her four times in the arm? That's a good question. What you do? What you say, bitch? You know, that's a good question. I mean, this is. I like to know who this How officer was. She said her boyfriend, Brandon Strong, was upset because, ooh, I forgot her, because his password for his unemployment account would not work. <laughs> During their argument, the woman says Strong picked up a gun and shot her multiple times. She ain't telling the whole story. After the shooting, oh, that's why y'all need a password. <laughs> <laughs> you broke ass nigga, you stupid. <laughs> she picked up a child, ran from the home. Jason alluded to, bitch, how? To the most veteran officer, it was hard to see the connection. How could an argument over a password find an employment account end in a woman being that. shot four times? This is the quintessential nigga moment. The unarmed woman provided more clarity after a deep breath. She told Officer Strong that under the influence, she told Officer that Strong was under the influence of drugs and alcohol. She also said that it could not be hard for officers to find Strong because he was still at the home with his gun. <laughs> <laughs> He's a snitch. Yeah, she is a failure. After hearing he this sitting at home with his gun. Hey, that nigga was gonna try to get that passport on the couch with his gun and hey, bullets. Hey, you know you were you were watching the movie and shit where nigga like, all right, coming. You know what I'm mean? saying? Trying to get in there. How much time do we have? We're coming. Hey, after hearing this news, the officers knew they had to go to the home of me. This is a silly ass article. Really. That's what I'm saying. Fuck, right? that's really. If they waited, mm-hmm. Strong could leave the house. CBS. And allegedly in danger more lives. CBS 46. On everything, man. Somebody had an aspiration to be a novelist. Yeah. Officer r- arrived at Strong's home at the 6th out of the block of Trimble Road and Rex. Oh, God. 
on everything. According to police, officers gave loud and clear verbal commands for Mr. Strong to exit the home with his hands up, forcing him across the room of Strong came out the house with his hands up and his place in the custody. Sean? Sean who? Yeah, I heard some things. <laughs> a police spokeswoman said Strong did not want to talk to the cops about the incident. Strong was booked in the Clayton County Jail on a series of charges including aggravated assault, felony cruelty to children in first degree, felony cruelty. So she was a, a minor? The baby. Third the baby the baby. I didn't hear the baby get shot. The possession of firearm. He picked up the baby and ran. Possession of firearm. Oh, he was very precise. He knew what he was doing. He, he was out with arm. Reckless conduct and criminal damage. It's, 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 it's crazy that he wasn't charged with murder. Or attempt murder, I mean. Yeah. Which, like, you know, it's probably, it's probably like a little bit more of a story that the media ain't saying and yeah. shit. She had put her finger in his face. No, nah, <laughs> what, nah. what it probably was, she she was probably doing his unemployment because I probably know people like that. She's probably doing his unemployment, like I said, for her and shit because he might not be computer literate. Uh, and then he was like, figure it out to yourself. Yeah, he was like, yeah, don't figure it out to yourself. Baby, come on. You know hey, the time limit. Or nah, nah, just like, bitch. Hey, just get what? She like, you fit, you do it, bitch. What's the password? Right. What's the password? This ain't working. This shit ain't working. Not working. Here he is, here he is. Password. That nigga did it in the speaker. Password. Don't be fucking with this computer shit. <laughs> make a lick a high, make a hiney ho. <laughs> then she's probably like, because it didn't say it was his child. True so she's probably like, that's my baby daddy. That's my ass word. word. If it wasn't in, if it wasn't in, he shot that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that much. He ain't trying to go to jail for murder, man. He just, oh. he just had to get his point across. Bitch, you think it's a game? He should shot. Niggas get shot over them stimmy checks, nigga. I wonder if he's trying to type in a lot of shit. Lock that shit he up. Got locked out. He like, bitch, you send my check to your house. He got locked out. You send my check to your house. That's it's locked out. How? Why is all the all of a sudden it's locked out? Anyway, but I heard of people coming to people's houses over the PPP loans because they was giving me people names and they crib and shit, man. So, like, so yeah, that's why we can't fathom why this nigga would do some shit. Yeah, because he like he might be the big. Let's wrap it up with this one. Cause we definitely went to that's some shit. <laughs> Newlywed groom accused of shooting Freya. He says had an affair with his new wife. That wasn't his friend. The groom was arrested on his wedding day for allegedly shooting a friend he suspected was having an affair with his new wife. WVUE report said Jeremy was in a car with his new bride. I'm sorry, Devin jo Ole Jones was in a car with his new bride and middle friend when they got stuck in traffic. St. John Parish Sheriff Mike uh, Traeger, and why the fuck they gonna come up with a uh, ad right in the middle of it? Said that Jones accused his new wife of having an affair with her friend, with a friend riding with him. Still in a tuxedo. <laughs> Jones got out of the car and shot the man in the leg. These things are not killing shit. Then he fired at another car, also stuck in traffic, hitting one person in the head. Like, I'm telling y'all, man, we not getting the full stories on these ordeals. Man, for that one, I was reading about that one on the way here, right? If you click on a different lane, that wasn't just his friend. That was the best man. Yeah, that was his best man. Yeah, that's his best man. So, mm. like, I don't be approving a nigga being all jealous, but that's why he ain't trying to kill his friend. Well, he just had to teach him a lesson. Now, I'm just saying, I'm just, from your viewpoint, do you think that this was in a group chat? They want it warned a shot in the leg. <laughs> you, you let me marry this bitch, bro. You done fuck my Joel bitch. You let me marry it. Joe White stopped the ambulance and was able to take cover inside. <laughs> this is some this is some movie shit. You know what, what? I'm saying? She got under the muff on the gurney later. She played dead. You know what I'm saying? Jones was arrested for attempt first degree murder. He did not try to kill nobody. Aggravated second degree battery and two counts of aggravated criminal damage to property according to jail records. My favorite. Like, what do y'all think, like, transpired in that car and shit? Do you think, like, he was, like, looking down and shit, he looked up and shit, he had his hand on her leg, and she jumped back and shit the last second? What do y'all think provoked him to just, at that moment, you done went through the wedding, so you didn't know before this particular moment. And y'all, mom, what y'all think happened? Mm. Ran through a fucking uh, camera light, and they, they got a ticket for speeding through the light, on, on, or, like, one of them automated fucking photo shits, and they got a ticket. <laughs> that shit busted wide up. Who was this bitch in the car with you? Get this bitch 
You what, you think they just got? When did they get it though? Nah, they ain't fucking uh, uh, Louisiana. It's always a parish, like in the South. Man, it's probably some, just some goofy shit. Niggas try to probably try to confess, like man, bro, I fucked up. Like I gotta talk to you. She's probably in the in the car, like going like, don't don't tell this me. Don't don't. And he told him, and then he temporarily lost. Now a real friend uh, try to help him concoct the story to where like man, the gun went off. This bitch was like, I ain't no man. He fell in love with the bitch pussy in her head and was like, I'm finna leave with a dick. <laughs> can you imagine, can you imagine like a couple hours earlier, y'all wasn't even married yet to be banging on the ambulance and my husband trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, life happens fast. I'm blaming like, the friend though, man. I blame the girl and the friend. Of course. Man, I don't even blame the woman, I just blame the friend. That's his boy. That's his best man, so that ain't no nigga he just you know. Me? So you, if, you, if your girl was fucking your best friend, you went home, you was just telling her she didn't, she don't do it again. I'm, I'm saying I'm I don't blame my nigga more than the bitch though. I'm not saying more, I'm saying I blame both. So what I'm saying was you blame both. Yeah, the bitch got some blame, but I blame the nigga the most. He hurt me the most. Cause this is my best man. Bro, you let me walk down the aisle with this girl. You had up. The time, like, bro, I'm getting married to her. I love her. How would you talk to your friend? What would you say? What would you say, uh, would you say to your friend? Well, I'd have told her the moment I fucked. What you say? I'm like, man, like, bro, she ain't the one for you. I hate that bitch. <laughs> it's simple as that. So should he be mad at you? No, nah, because a real nigga don't respect it. Why? That's what I'm saying. Like, tell me before the wedding. What's the difference? What's the difference? Before or after the wedding? This nigga don't let me in. Where's the thing? Well, some ways it ain't, ain't motherfucking cheap. Are, are you just worried about the monetary? Like, I'll spend this money on this bitch. That's what you worry that's about. That's no motherfucking boy. You don't let your boy go like a motherfucking son spend all this money. You do that because, like, that's no, the He exposed the fuck out. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get Jeremy no album. <laughs> no, no, no. This nigga, everybody, play that game, everybody knows. <laughs> everybody knows <laughs> what I would do in real life. I'd be like, man, fuck it, man. Like, shit. Thanks for the warning. What if, he, what if he chased you down the street and shot you for the time? I'll do this for you, nigga. Let me tell a nigga the first day, man. Like, they no, this because the... I'm sure he didn't wait. But it wasn't like they just met her at the club together. He hit her. They was. Remember nah, that? he's probably dating that. And then one day, remember that time you had fucked that girl for me to make sure she wasn't a hoe? Man, yeah. my nigga. Guess who looked out for you? I was about to marry her that day and everything. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, you just tell him like, hey, bro, like, man, she ain't going for you. When he say, hey, bro, how you know? Y'all still gonna be cool? Huh? Still how you know she got that tattoo on her lower back? <laughs> oh, like, hey, bro, like, she ain't the one for you. How you know, man? Cause I fucked. Y'all still gonna be cool? Me and the guy, yeah. If he tell me up front, up front, like, hey, man, like, shit, like, I ain't about to. I fucked your bitch. Cause nigga, she wasn't my bitch yes, at that she, point. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she no, no, no. Now, if you married her, that's motherfucking different. That's like, damn. Yeah, what's you, the right difference? Before what? What's what's the difference? It's a big difference, no, nigga. No, no, cause no, no. Tell me, don't tell me it's a big difference. Yeah, tell me what's the difference. Hold on, no. What's the difference? Cause, Cause it's a big you difference. You motherfucking took vows and shit. What's the big no, nigga, if, before, if it was before the relationship, man, if, yeah, if yeah. it was a relationship before the marriage. Waking up man, nigga, look, just get married. Just speak on the closest. What the fuck are you talking about? The way I look at it is, if y'all ain't married, y'all single. What? What, you ain't married the next day? That nigga's a walking bean. That nigga's a walking bean. That nigga's a walking bean. One of my homeboys right now was just telling me. You gonna date before you get married. Yeah, but you never know, though, because one of my homeboys, like I was saying, this nigga knew his wife for six weeks. They've been married all the time. And he knew his wife for six weeks. He was like, bro. I remember, we gonna, you already had that mic, man. That's an outlier. That nigga had the camera in my face and shit. That's, that's, an, out, that's an outlier, man. That was a, that's a, that's a, that's a bad That's what Jeremy, Jeremy like a walking meme. The fact that the matter is, is though, <laughs> if you sitting around here, you sitting here raw dog and y'all telling him kissing and shit. I'm just not telling you love her and shit. That's your bitch. Yeah. Ain't no, ain't no standing in front of you. Ain't no, ain't no getting no contract. No ain't man. no getting no contract and shit. Hold on, on, hold on up. So with that logic right there, any girl that you like, love, a nigga just pounding and shit ain't gonna bother you at all because it ain't. Man. Your, hold on, hold on, because it ain't your wife. Because so you can't, you don't have no, you don't have no. Ties to no woman, you can't tell her don't do shit. It ain't no ties. I got to bring my finger. Let me tell you how it is, man. When I was in college, I was fucking this bitch. I ain't gonna say her name. She was Princeton. Huh? Come on, Harvard, nigga. So I was in college. I was fucking this bitch. I thought I liked. I thought she 
Like me and shit. And then it's explaining it up. Well, yeah. uh, my uh, he's a homeboy was like, man, is you gonna put her on the house? We putting bitches on the house. And I was like, man, I like this what you girl. Mean? What that mean? We just putting bitches on the house, nigga. So, we running trains and shit. Oh, okay, okay, that's all I needed. And you, it was your turn to give up your bitches. No, nigga, we always gave up bitches, nigga. It was, it was just, I don't want a bitch conductor. I, 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 I don't want Anybody want who know me know I ain't never been no tender bitch, nigga. Hey, nigga, it's Okay, so I told my nigga, I was like, hey, if you can fuck. You, I was like, if you can fuck, you can fuck. I was like, if you can fuck, you can fuck. Yeah, that's a real statement. My nigga went downstairs yeah. and was able to clap in cheeks. And I was like, damn. Oh, he was like, oh, he's like, he's like, he's like, look, I ain't gonna get mad at you if you try to holler at her. She yeah. go, man. Yeah, I, I, I ain't never gonna get mad at a bitch for being a bitch. Nigga, me and the chick was like, what y'all gonna do? Is he hurting you? Get the fuck out of here. Why are you screaming? I don't know. I just had a fucking like a random ass. No, it's just one I was talking to. I like the shit. Like, I like that. I thought she was on the And my nigga was like, is she going on the house? He's already playing gold. Hey, nigga, he's on the shelf. He's already playing dunk on that nigga. He's on the screen like this. That was the first thing we did. Check that. We are in the house and bitches, nigga. Okay, I thought it was your first love. This one you like. First, what? Like, it's just a, just a bitch I thought I liked. No. Or, or, or you know, I did like, but no different than any other girl. So how many shows was he in before you figured out you didn't like her no more? <laughs> when my nigga went downstairs <laughs> and I heard it crack, and I was like, damn, I guess this, <laughs> I guess this bitch going. Would you say? Would you say to her when she leave? I guess you was with your friend. Oh, what you say to hey, I know you said some candy. I kept fucking this after that nigga like that shit didn't change. Right. And me and my niggas still niggas to this day. So we here, still niggas. You here too? Why the fuck wouldn't I? He was here there before. Because he had no other pussy. He was in it before. He ain't know the bitches. Man, anybody that's ever gonna watch this, okay. you know me. Hey, okay, okay, let's go. All right. Hey, yeah. You betrayed me, bitch. We did it again. She ain't betrayed me. Fucking Britney Spears. Fucking Spears. She was community. She was community. You know how Two you things talking about R. Kelly fucking boys, nigga. You could you know what? Talking about fucking in college. Even, but, even so. though I wrote that down, I really don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I don't want to, because Jeremy ain't never heard about that, so it ain't true. Ah, uh, okay. Facts. <laughs> Hey man, listen, Jeremy's the on the most. You a teddy bear underneath it all, man. You be trying to play that shit, man. Come oh, we try to play that. Nigga, I just gonna be in love with these hoes, nigga. Come Why you want somebody to be in love with these hoes, man? Why? Listen. Why? Yeah. Listen, we ain't gonna front. When you was telling me you like that one girl, man, you had this little glow in your eye sparkle. Yeah, yeah. The fuck your eye sparkle. Man. Your eye sparkle, yeah, it, it did, man. So I ain't lying to tell. Nigga, I told you off top, I said I didn't know if I was so shocked. Cause I like the or cause my ego had never been dropped before. And I was like, damn, shit, I ain't never seen a bitch talking. Shit, that was the first time that. Yeah, nigga, that was, was last year. I ain't talking to the girl that dumped you. That was last motherfucking year. Come the first on, time man. I ever that's wanted in my life. For the sake, listen, man, I ain't gonna talk about it on here and shit. Cause ain't, we gonna talk about it over here though. But you, it's like you, like you, when you said that you was walking to the gym, like you dancing with like tiptoeing with daisies and shit. Like you, and he had this like floaty look in his face and shit. Like, if we was on a cartoon, she had been floating like this on the class. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, look, like we're going to wrap this up, though. Another edition of the best podcast you never heard of. Juvie, what, yeah, what's, what's the plans? Man, so they they say October 2nd here in Indianapolis, maybe the whole National Center. I ain't, uh, you know, I ain't really do too much. Just waiting on them some more confirmation. And then, uh, like I said, we got, like, a showcase in uh, Vegas for, like, top rank. And, For real? Uh, yeah, yo. So we got, you know, I'm trying to get Because you or the kids? No, uh, there were some pros who went out there taking a few fighters out there just, you know, go out there and get some, That's some people check us out. So, That's what's up. Yeah, man, just started camp. I'm feeling pretty good. It's already been running. Like, I'm doing this thing. I'm running 40 miles in 40 days. So, what are you, 40? Yeah. That's what's up. A mile a day? Well, I probably run like. Four miles, four miles, uh, three days out of the week, and I might run two miles. You know, it just depends. You got to run up steps. That's like uh, downtown. downtown right? yeah. yeah, like motherfucking Rocky and shit. Yeah, that's good work. That's good work. 
Good shit. I was trying Can't to wait. see when the classic was. I was trying to see if that was doing a classic weekend. It's October 2nd, yeah. That's what it's classic game in September this year. Is it? I believe they're going to do it. Man. Yeah. October second, like that's the one that's the that's the one 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 that's this is a motherfucking bass in my voice when you talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> what I said was, is that I'm a motherfucking 2001 Bentley, and you could be a motherfucking 2016 Chrysler 300. So I may look old on the street, but compared to like some shit that ain't as fucking fly, I still look good. So I said, come make me look better. Tell a story. Okay. I was leaving out the gym. I said, I'm going to see you later at the show. <laughs> and he said, hey, man, come back and do the Snapchat with me. And I said, I will and then I gave you that shit about the Bentley. But I'm just saying, he wanted me to come back and do a video. <laughs> you ain't even been in my videos, bro. Okay, cap. Stop the cap in your rap. You ain't never stopped me, though, so I knew it was important. And next time I'm going to I felt like I had a pump today. But real shit, though, you did you push me to hit them up in the 90s. So I appreciate that. Because steel, sharp as steel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to get out here and be healthy. Be the change I want to see in the world. Real shit. Hey, I be telling you, he's stronger than what he is. He did. And you can get them hundreds, too. You can get them motherfuckers. Yeah. He, be in there getting, he be in there getting busy, man. I be, I'm, it's like, like, man, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it feel like when Al was watching Bud. You know? <laughs> you motherfucker. So <laughs> 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 just Nigga went Al and Rack Jefferson. Shy like, Rack? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's well, it. That's it. That's it. Because you are, yes, ma'am, to my no, ma'am. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga Jefferson. That's a new one. Ah, sometimes I got to just take my head off to me. What you got going on with you? Oh shit, Thursday. We at uh, uh, Metazoa Brewing. It's gonna be some fucking dogs there too. So Ooh, if you got yeah, dogs, you, dog. you can bring that motherfucker. I'm there, bro. But if be yappy, do not bring that motherfucker. <laughs> I will bring chocolate for that motherfucker. Just die. Chocolate. Fuck dog. them dogs. Don't it's about the show. Um, Friday, we're at Eddie's at the Fort. And uh, I'm in Ladies 56 and uh, Fort. Uh, 56 and uh, Post. Indianapolis. Which is it already sir? Uh yeah, it's already. Uh, it's turn up. What time, what time is the show o'clock. Thursday on at Minnesota? Well? Uh, eight o'clock. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So uh perfect. come through if y'all can. That's that Thursday too? That's yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Do yeah. yeah. right. ten to fifteen on Thursday. It's probably thirty to forty five. What 45. time is the Friday show? That's eight o'clock. Who they charge for tickets? Ten bucks. Or less if you get them online with my discount code Jason. Man, who uh, you want? You trying to go? I'm always Who's, man. Just come right through. There. I can't guarantee you other times, but it's gonna be a good show. Yeah. Come enjoy me. Show. Come enjoy. You should watch a horror. I know. Come enjoy. Come enjoy to watch it. I can't say that. Enjoy me, baby. Go check it. Right. But no, the show, man. It's definitely going to be in there in the building. Uh, check it out. For sure. Well, another episode of the best podcast you've ever heard of. It's the <laughs> Nobody episode 174. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.